Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I am looking at uh, Flotilla because a bunch of people asked why I have it in my Steam collection of 500 and something games and why I haven't played it yet. So yes, this is Flotilla, and I'll just go through the tutorial just to show how it works. Armed with nothing but a bone to pick and seven months left to live, you embark on your last adventure. So this is a turn-based 3D uh, spaceship strategy game. So these are my ships. This is the enemy. Click here to continue. I can in fact do this. Now let's blow up that enemy. I like the way you speak. So, here what we do is we select one of our ships, we tell it to attack and move, and now the whole thing is 3D, right? So I can move the camera around with the mouse and pan up and down. Now you see the enemy is below the plane. Well, I'm going to go towards this enemy, and then by pressing space I then get to adjust my motion in the other dimension. So I'm going to send one of my dudes above the plane while attacking. And I'm going to be attacking him. Now let's give the other one orders. And again, uh, adjust my orientation to see what we'll do. Let's send him out. Let's send him out kind of this way. Uh, where is it? Grab that. I'm going to send him kind of down this side. And then downwards. And that should mean that we get a decent chance to... Both get a decent chance to shoot at him. So let's end the turn, and now of course everything plays out in real time. Here are my fleet. Here's my fleet of two ships. Is, is two ships a fleet technically? Uh, my wing, my element, my uh, buddies, my wingman, my bro. So they are launching missiles, they're launching space torpedoes at this target. Now, part of the strategy is that the front armor is pr of most spacecraft is pretty tough against uh, missiles. So you kind of end up having to flank the bad guy to give yourself a chance of really killing him. Which is what I was of course planning to do. Which is explaining my whole motion. Okay, select an order. Attack, move. I'm going to continue to move over the top of him. And uh, actually that orientation is just fine. Yeah, we'll keep Oh, man, the mouse moves so fast. There we go. There's the situation. Give me a tactical view overview of the situation. Vertical movement. I am not going to move this vertically, and I'm going to keep shooting him. So the other dude is going to go downwards. So attack move. Drag my mouse this way. Drag it downwards. And continue shooting at him. Now watch what happens. So here we go. Wait, wait a second, where's where's my dude? Ah, there, I'm missing the battle here. Ah, there we go, just in time to see the missiles smashing off his front armor. But, haha, you see, he scores hits from behind and blasts the way through the armor, scoring a successful kill against the Federation of Quibble or whatever that is. Great, so I can actually view a playback of the whole thing, and you can you know, rewind it. So this is your whole tactical mission report. Pretty cool, huh? Bang, 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 yes. Ah, you see, killed you, and your bits flew everywhere. Brilliant. Anyway, let's go back to the next, let's go to the next mission. Now, it's pretty much a you know, random galaxy, so, you know, you fly around and you get various, a uh, Encounters. Your salvage crew explores the Dark Thunder, a derelict warship. Captain, we hear something that sounds like a crying child or a howling dog. Oh, I hope it's a dog. The salvage crew returns with cargo. Captain, we found salvage. Let me get out of here. That ship me gives me the heebie-jeebies. But what about the doggy? Did we get a doggy? We got a Rashad fire control. Let's equip the item so... We'll put that in there. Excellent. The four dark claw and the ten falling storm are my fleet. And the Rashad fire control is now part of the four dark claw. I ordered my crew to explore a derelict. They returned with cargo. Okay. Now where else can we go? We can go to Quardo. 
I guess Cordo is the only place that's nearby. You accidentally interrupt a family reunion of penguin bandits. They open fire. I like the black eye patch on the penguin. It really, you know, fits in with the color scheme. Careful, boho, this is penguin territory. In Venetia Flair. Okay, so I've got two ships. Now, obviously, the way I'm going to do this is to focus fire on just the one guy. Uh, uh, let's go like this. Okay, so that's my layout. Now, he's slightly higher up, but I suspect... Oh, wow, wait, I'm 10 Talon, he's 13 Talon. This is very hard to figure out the orientation here. But that's part of the new whole thing about fighting in 3D. Okay, so we're definitely going to concentrate on this guy, because he has more firepower. Um, maybe I should do like a... Yeah, I could just do an attack move, right? I'm going to head off over in this direction, right? Aha! Head over here as fast as I can. We want, we don't want this one causing any trouble. Oh, no, no, I meant to go this way. Thank you. Space, space, vertical movement. I'm just going to keep this in the plane, and orientation will be towards this, and this will be my priority target. So this guy, attack move also. Attack pattern delta, or whatever that means. He's going to do that and give us some more vertical movement because we want to keep away from this guy. Okay, and we're going to continue shooting at him. End turn. Let's see what happens. Now, look at this. Oh, they've got missiles coming in at me. Watch the missiles arcing their way gracefully to through space. Oh, they're pulling back and he's coming in. Oh, is there any missiles going to hit there? No. Oh, yes, we scored a hit. We scored some actual hits on these targets here. Due to my flanking maneuver here. That's the trick. you got to make the bad guy. They, they can only shoot in one direction. That is what the strategy is all about. Okay, so uh, let's just rotate. This guy is going to do an attack move. And he's going to keep moving in this direction. As fast as he can. Oh, ha! Ah, gotta make sure I complete the move. Vertical movement. Uh, maybe go down a little? Yeah, that'll work. Orientation will be towards this target. And the priority target will be that target also. And this guy is also going to attack. He's going to move this way. And then we're going to move him down a little because we want to make sure there's some spread and angle between the two targets. And we're going to continue firing at this guy. Nope, we're going to continue firing at this guy. End the turn. See how this works. Oh no, I'm taking bottom hits! No! No bottom hits on me. Why? Why is that guy... That guy's getting hit from the side, surely, no? Come on. Oh man, we're going too fast. I guess my weapons are unable to track with the swiftness we need. Come on. No. We're just like flying past each other in space. Ah, okay. So this guy really needs to up his game here. Okay. So planar movement in this direction. Uh oh 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 I think they do a pretty good job of what you need to do to make movement in 3D actually work. Vertical movement should be down a little. And continue to shoot at this guy, make that my priority target. This guy is going to attack move in this direction. That seems like a pretty good place to go. We're going to go Actually, you know what? Can I... Okay, never mind. That's what we're going to do. And again, concentrate on this guy. Let's see what happens. While we listen to the music, so delicate, belying the fury with which this battle is taking place. Come on, missiles. Yes, we hit him on the bottom. Wow, my seat is squeaking a little too much. Now we have destroyed two spacecraft. Oh! Now we've destroyed one of the spacecraft, then uh, surely the other will be easy meat. It's just a question of me making sure that I continue to 
continue to fire. So I might actually take him. I might move him out of range. I might actually move him just straight vertically. That's what I'm going to do, right? Because I want him... I just, I feel he's taking too much damage, right? So I'm going to do that. Target him. And attack move. And attack move. This is, well, this is a game by Blendo Games. It was originally released, like, it was an Xbox Developers Network kind of thing, right? So if I guess if I go towards him, right, and then make the thing move downwards, he's going to have no choice but to go, you know, fire in the same direction. Okay. He'll have no choice. Orientation towards that. End the turn and see what happens. So he's just going straight up. My friend is going down. And now we see the missiles raining at him. Come on! Oh, I may have moved my other dude out of range. That's probably what's happening here. Still, the enemy is caught in a pincer attack. He has only so many options open to him. This gate, this battle is surely not long for the winning, or something like that. Okay, uh, spacebar select next available ship. I'm gonna go attack him, move in this direction, and move downwards towards him. Move downwards towards him. There we go. And of course, we're going to take him as our orientation. Now, you can uh, you can set different orientations manually if you really have a clue what you're doing. Move amount movement. Go that way. Actually, should I go? I'm going to go this way just a little. I think he might be doing something that will. Now, this is where it's hard to tell what's going on. He's going that way. But I, uh, I think that'll do fine. An orientation, of course, towards him. Go on, missiles. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So, I mean, you know, this is one of the things that is, is often missed in a lot of strategy games. Uh, you'll find space strategy games where everything is 2D. Oh, man, my dude is still getting hit from below. How is this possible? I totally reduced him to one guy, and we managed to flat. He's managed to flank him out us, outflank us. No, 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 no. Not good. Not good. Not good. So I guess he he doesn't maintain orientation. Focus fire. I'm just gonna focus fire here. Go upwards and shoot at him. And he's gonna attack move that this I can't believe that I'm losing this. I'm utterly terrible. There we go. And of course nope, nope, nope. Uh focus, this is the guy we wanna fire. Come on! S get some missiles here. Oh he's turning! I hope he can turn in time to s deflect Oh yes, we get some hits on him at last. So he is rotated that way, but it, perhaps these missiles coming in from below will show him who's boss. Oh no, my ship just died at the last minute! Oh no! And I get new cargo, I got a Botox armor. Oh, Botox armor, does that mean that my ship is less wrinkly? Uh, I guess I can stick that in there, but having only one spaceship, I'm not likely to be able to get very far. I encountered a penguin bandit family reunion. They attacked me on sight. Um, oh, I like Aka Funny. Also known as Funny. You and your crew visit a karaoke bar and sing a bitter melon song. 16 cases of vodka hall later, you find yourself declared karaoke champion of the universe. You take your deserved prize. I do deserve it. I got roach armor. Sweet. Um, uh, I think Botos armor is less most likely to be useful to me. Okay. Done. Let's see where else I can go. I could go to... Yeoble. 
Deep in space, you discover colonists cocooned in the walls. They scream, the Bruja, the Bruja, they did this. Please kill us. Wait for a cure. <laughs> I decided not to destroy them. Okay, it's Nabre. You find Baby Yeti chewing your electrical conduit. Your navigation officer is distraught. Captain, I'm so sorry. I don't know how they escaped from my quarters. Declaw and defang the Yetis. The Yetis grow resentful and bitter. That's great. Um, let's go to Danny's Hofi. What's a Hofi? Your karaoke fans take you in a pub crawl. Hours later, you realize you've invented a mixed drink, the Electro Sucker Punch. Your fame nets you an impressive surprise. I've got a 13 soaring snake, a beam gunship. That means I won't have to wait for my weapons to fly in. So I can now set up my fleet a little. Let's put some the roach armor on it. So it, it will, I don't know, fly away from the bad guys or something. <laughs> it's Cassie P. Space hitchhikers hail a lift. Give us a, give us a lift. Thanks for the ride, it's freezing out there. They delicately bring aboard a piece of cargo. It looks valuable. I'm gonna steal their cargo. You'll regret that, boho. <laughs> I got some Botox armor. Obviously, uh, Botox armor is extremely useful for adding, I don't know, adding some armor to my butt. Um, oh, pin, pinish, pinisho. Captain, we found a frigate we'll, the, from the lost Crucius fleet. I think it's haunted. No, I'm going to salvage the ship. Ooh, I get a two bloody ocelot. A dreadnought. I have no idea if that's any good. Uh, Buruzo. Halt, incoming flotilla. We've received word you harbored hitchhikers. Under Servidian edict, pay a penalty fee of one cargo piece. You know what? I'm going to refuse to pay because shooting sounds like more fun. Okay, so there's two spacecraft here, there's a beam frigate, and there's a battleship. Ouch. So what I really probably should do is make everyone move really fast in this direction. Can I do that? Let's move everyone in this direction. Uh, away from the battleship. And hopefully the beam ship will be faster. That's my plan. Uh, I'm going to keep myself oriented towards that... A battleship. Once again, flank move. We're gonna head over this way as well. And maybe I should maybe I should do add some vertical displacement here. And again, orient towards the battleship. And my dinky little planar moving fast ship could only go over there as well. And he's gonna face towards the battleship. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I manage to maintain my distance. He's launching missiles. Missiles and... What are these? These look like laser bolts or something. They do look pretty dangerous, but they're bouncing off my armor so far. Hopefully, this beam frigate will be vulnerable to our weapons. La ha ha ha. Okay, now the two bloody ocelot is going to focus fire on this. Actually, we need to move sideways here. Great, and vertical movement will be untouched, and we'll still orient towards this, but this will be my priority target. Okay, focus fire. We're going to go up a little, just a little more. Again, orient towards that, but shoot that. And you, we're going to focus fire. And that'll be good. We'll move down a little, spreading our forces out. Orient towards that and shoot that. Let's see if this strategy pays off. Now the dinner, dinner plates are flying or something like that. Oh, they're all turning... He's turning to face me because he realizes that he is the primary target. Oh, 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 oh. Why are my, why is my dreadnought doing anything? 
These guys aren't doing anything. What's up with that? Am I totally like out of range here? No, I'm taking damage. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, you, you're going to move and attack at the same time. I know that's really complicated, but it's how we do things around here. Okay, let's let's try moving like let's try moving like this. Great. Vertical movement will be untouched. Orient towards that. Target towards that. You, on the other hand, are going to attack move, which means. Uh, you're going to go over this way, in fact. How about that? I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go this way. Great. Vertical movement down a little. Orient towards that and fire at that. Okay. Now you... You are going to have to get some more vertical motion, right? So really, we're going to pull some distance and we're going to go down. And orient towards the battleship because he's doing serious damage. And priority target will be this beam frigate. Okay. Let's try moving the cat. It's really hard for me to figure out these controls. Okay, now we're seeing something going on. No. Nope. Beam lasers. No. Nope. Nothing. Yes! Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, no, my, my beam frigate's actually taking damage. Not good at all, but at least they're facing the correct target. So the front armor is the way to do it. Okay, now let's close in for the kill around this battleship. Actually, you might want to run away, because clearly you're taking a lot of damage. Uh, how about you go this way? Yes. Okay, vertical movement, uh, down a little, and orient, and obviously firing at that. You're going to move this way. Attack move. Still going to try outflanking this. No vertical movement, and you're shooting at him. And you, my friend, are going to go this way. And you're going to go down. Vertical movement downwards while shooting at him. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see if I successfully get my take down this battleship. See, he can't deflect fire from all sides, can he? Or maybe he can. Maybe that's just the way it works. Come on, what does this dreadnought do? Does this dreadnought have any firepower at all? Oh no, my little guy's taking some damage. But most of his fire has been taken from from there. Okay. The battleship does not move fast. Okay, select a target. You! You clearly are not close enough to fire this yet. I have no idea how to tell whether your weapons are in range or not. But I'm going to move down. And you're going to stay pointed at this thing. You! You're going to attack and move. And you're going to go this way. And down. And you're going to keep shooting at him. And you... I can attack move! Uh, hold on. Is this vertical move or whatever? Nice. Okay. That's pretty good. Orientation should give me a shot at its giant belly. Who's taking damage? Who's taking damage here? Oh, we're taking... Hit, hitting him on the bottom there. We're kicking his butt, so to speak. Oh, look at that. All oh, the place where is smashing into his butt. Oh, brilliant. Look at the beautiful ballet of this battle. Yes! That is excellent. We get two kills and Colonel Iram Atnas failed completely. So yes, the game is Flotilla. It's from Blendo Games. It's available on Steam. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.